Hey guys, Meet Rebels, Chris Tomber here with this Saturday mountain weather update, and we've got it. The cold and the snow with this Arctic front. All right, we'll start up in Montana. This is Big Sky, the Lone Peak Tram Cam. Air temps are below zero, reporting three inches of new snow in the last 24 hours, and you're not done. You've still got light additional accumulations coming, and there's a second trailing cold front that will dive from north to south in the forecast. Okay, let's go to Colorado. This is Breckenridge this morning. I'm um, reporting four or five inches of new snow. Air temps running about six below zero. And there is a little bit of wind, so we're going to see some very low wind chills of probably 20, 30 below. Maybe colder at times. Aspen snow mass reporting about five inches of new snow and um, very light additional accumulations. Now, the second trailing front is where you could pick up some additional um, snow accum accumulation between Sunday and Monday. All right, over in, uh, at Alta and Little Cottonwood Canyon, six inches in the last 24 hours. Now, this is really something. I mean, we're dealing with very little uh, moisture out of this storm system. Again, more of a glancing blow for the, for the Wasatch, but to crank out six inches from very little uh, moisture to work with is, is really something. We're just at very high efficiency with these cold temperatures right now. Um, across many of the ski resorts. It's not going to take much to squeeze out accumulation, in other words. Loveland Ski Area, uh, very cold. It's running about 6 below zero up there. Air temperature, uh, reporting 4 or 5 inches of new snow. And you're not done. You've still got snow accumulation today. And then you've got the second trailing front Sunday and Monday with some additional accumulation. Here's radar out of Colorado. You've got some snow across Denver and the Front Range. Probably 3, 4, 5, 6 inches of accumulation up and down I-25. Um, the heaviest band of snow with the Arctic front is down in southern Colorado, headed for northern New Mexico. And you can't see the snow up along I-70 and throughout many of the mountain communities because it's really shrouded right now with this northwest flow. So the, the radar is going to overshoot that. Um, here's the northeast. I want to check in on the northeast. So we've got a storm system rolling through. This one's mainly going to slide up the east coast. But it will bring some light, light snow accumulations. And you can see there's some ice and there's some rain as well. But light snow accumulations coming to New York, Vermont, New Hampshire, Massachusetts, and Maine with the storm system. All right. So here is the satellite. And I went ahead and changed the source. This is now an infrared because I wanted to show you the cold air. And you can really see it. I'm going to mark the cold air mass. Look at this. It's this whole blue area here right here. This represents when you look at... The legend at the bottom, which is right here. This is about a minus 30 to minus 40 Celsius air mass um, down here. So, I mean, we're looking at, you know, very cold air, and that's what that represents. You're looking at those cloud tops on this infrared. Now, there's another storm system out here. You can see this collection of clouds. This will all go to the north and then also sweep down. So you've got your Arctic front, which is essentially right here. And then you've got additional fronts that will come in behind it. Okay, um, let's look at my bullet points. So Arctic front today, tomorrow, with residual snow accumulation um, across parts of Montana, parts of Wyoming, parts of Utah, and a lot of Colorado and New Mexico. Second trailing front races through 119, 120. And in the Northeast and California, no major storm systems. I don't have any major or heavy snow accumulation, but certainly light snow accumulation. Um, here's my snow timeline, best odds of snow. Big sky, light today, light to moderate tomorrow with the trailing front, and then moderate on 124. The Wasatch, light additional today, light tomorrow. Tetons, light today, light 121, moderate 124, 125. Colorado today, tomorrow, and Monday morning, light to moderate additional snow accumulations. Interior BC, I don't have anything until we get to 123, 124, so it's going to be a waiting game up there. And then the northeast, you can see the light accumulation today, tomorrow. All right, let's drill down to Alta, Utah. This is the forecast mediagram for about 9,000 feet. So here's our column for today. There's Saturday, there's Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. This uh, model cranks out an additional uh, inch, maybe two inches of accumulation, and that's what I'm forecasting as far as additional snow accumulation. Uh, still very windy up there this morning with gusts of 40 and very low wind chills. So we start at about 6 up there at 9,000, run to about, well, the temperatures appear to fall all day, and they're below zero by this afternoon and tonight. We're running 3 
two to three degrees below zero tonight into tomorrow morning. So Sunday starts cold below zero, warms up to about eight, falls below zero into Monday morning to about two below, and then Monday is cold. It's about two. And there's a little bit of snow that comes through with that trailing front. You can kind of see it between Sunday afternoon and Monday morning. You can kind of see that right there. It's very light. Um, and the wind does kick up a little bit with that front coming in on uh, Monday into Tuesday with some gusts to about 30, 35 miles an hour. So some light additional accumulations, bottom line, up there at Alta, Snowbird, Solitude, and Brighton. Let me take you into Colorado. Here's the time height forecast looking at moisture or humidity in the atmosphere over the next 72 hours. You read that from right to left. through all. This is, you're looking down through all the vertical layers. This is Winter Park. We've got the moisture. That's the green. I'm looking for green. And I know we've got upslope, um, so we got lifting. So you've got moisture, and we're in it. You can see the first wave with the green right there. That's our current. And then the second wave with the trailing front comes in. So we've got good moisture hanging over the top of the mountains um, of Colorado, in particular Winter Park right here in this, um, all the way through the 20th into early 21, and then it dries out. So for the next two, three days, we've got lingering moisture, residual moisture. And look at the temperatures. Let me take you up to Breckenridge. These are air temp forecasts. Look at the Arctic air mass. So um, today, a high temp of three. Now tonight, in the Sunday morning, 29 degrees below zero. That's the forecast from this model. Um, four tomorrow. On Monday, 15 below in the morning, four below for the high. Trailing front reinforces the cold air, in other words. And then 32 below. Monday night, Tuesday morning. So it's going to be cold. If you're skiing the next two or three mornings, it's going to take all of your gear with this thing. All right, let's talk about snow accumulation over time. So we'll start at lunchtime today. You can see where the snow is. The, the blue colors, that's light snow accumulation under three inches. Once you pop into the greens, that's three, four, five, six. And then if you were to see yellows, that's over six. So light additional accumulations here through lunch across um, Utah, across Wyoming, across Montana, across central Idaho, and across a lot of Colorado. Here we are by late. So this is about 10 o'clock tonight. Snow moving through Colorado into southern Colorado and northern New Mexico. Early tomorrow morning, this is early Sunday, some very light additional snow accumulation. Now we watch for the trailing front. So here we are by lunchtime on Sunday. You can see it coming out of Montana, dropping down into the Tetons and Yellowstone. Here's late on Sunday. This is 10 p.m. on Sunday. So you've got light snow dropping north to south, down into the central to northern mountains of Colorado. Here we are by Monday morning at 5 a.m., barely brushing the high Uintas and barely brushing the Wasatch. But you've got snow here early Monday morning. Here's lunchtime on Monday. Snow dropping down the front range of Colorado. Um, with some light additional accumulations, generally under three inches. And then it drops into southern Colorado. Here's 10 p.m. on Monday. Drops into southern Colorado, northern New Mexico, with potentially three, four, five inches of accumulation in some of these spots. Um, here is early Monday, or early Tuesday morning. <clears throat> Most of the leftover snow is in southern Colorado and northern New Mexico. Okay, let me show you my forecast. So here's my official forecast. Um, snow, rest of today through the 20th, so through Monday. We'll start in the uh, the Wasatch, another one to two inches of accumulation. <clears throat> I think that's pretty easy. Um, in the Tetons, one to two inches, and that's mainly from the trailing cold front. Um, two or three, maybe four inches up there through Bridger Bowl, Big Sky, and Red Lodge. I don't have anything for um, a lot of BC, maybe an inch in a couple of spots. I'm zeroed out over the Pacific Northwest. Uh, down through Oregon and into the Sierra. I don't have anything through the 20th. In Colorado, this is where most of the additional accumulation is going to be. Potentially another six inches up there at Loveland, A Basin, um, Winter Park, up to Eldora, Longs Peak, Cameron Pass, Rocky Mountain National, up to Steamboat, Mount Werner, Buff Pass, and maybe another five down through Vail, three or four additional inches of accumulation through the, uh, the West Elks, Aspen Snowmass, Maybe three over Monarch. And then in southern Colorado, <clears throat> over Kuchara, down to Taos, um, Ski Santa Fe, Angel Fire, maybe three, four, five inches of snow accumulation through that area. 
Okay, let me take you to the northeast. So you've got that storm system moving through this afternoon, today, this afternoon. And again, I don't have much here. Uh, two, three, four inches of accumulation through most of Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine, and even Massachusetts. Those numbers did go up um, as the storm system slides through. You're going to see accumulation today, tonight. And Snow Ridge gets a little bit of lake effect, but that's going to do it for the northeast through the 20th. All right, back to the west. This is where we're going to end. Again, most of the additional accumulation today and with the trailing front is in Big Sky, Bridger Bowl, running down into the most of Colorado, especially as you go Vail East up into Summit County, the Continental Divide, and up through the Northern Mountains. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this uh, mountain weather update on this Saturday. Appreciate everybody tuning in here. Take care, enjoy the new snow, and stay warm.